Welcome back to Let's Play Donut County. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we now pick up right where we left off. That's a big catapult tunnel right there. Oh, hey, there's cat soup in the background. It's everyone just gathered around. Everyone from the underground, I mean. BK says, I think it's ready. Okay, everyone, says Mira. One at a time. Let's get moving. Oh, thanks, Mira, says Potter. And BK, stay out of trouble. Ruff, says Pup. Up they go. It's launched into the sky. There's Ranger Helen. Before I go, I have one request. Could you please not catapult any snakes back up there? I'll see what we can do, says Mira. Nope, says BK. See ya! Salt and Pepper. Salt says, It's been wild, y'all. Sorry again, guys. It's okay, we forgive you, Mira. Yeah, not you, though, BK. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you stink. Okay, bye, whatever. <laughs> Up they go. Hey, Coyote, says BK. I was thinking. Huh? Says Coyote, whose tent is now in the middle of the catapult. Would you like a job at our donut shop? We're going clean, I promise. Mm. Yeah, I suppose I'd like that. He has emerged from the tent at last! He's... Wow, much more humanoid than I was expecting. <laughs> He's uh, got a black business suit, no tie, and a Donut County mug. But I get to be your boss! Lol, weird, but okay, says Mira. <laughs> Up he goes. It's uh, Roma and uh, their bunnies, and I don't remember the other one's name. Only time. Ugh, says Mira. Oh, Nikki. Who can say if things will ever get back normal? I'm not sure if that's a typo or not, because it's this game. Yeah, things probably won't feel normal for a while, says Mira. No matter, we can sail and let the bunnies flow. Right, uh, well, sorry for the mess, says Mira. It's okay, take care, Mira. Up they go. It's Morsel and three fireworks. Mira. BK. Nice, nice job blowing up that quadcopter, lol. Haha, <laughs> thanks, says BK. You know, I was thinking. I sure hope you don't mention anything to the cops about my explosive business as it zooms way in on his face. They would probably be pretty shocked to hear who destroyed the 405. And all the other stuff you guys blew up. You know, just saying, as a friend. Okay, says Mira. Well, thanks for threatening us, says BK. Later! It's Jelly Bean and Dollop. And an orange, for some reason. I got a joke for you guys. Did you ever hear the one about the raccoon kissing the chicken? Uh, nope. How does it go, says Mira. Dude, I'm not gonna kiss your dirty chicken, says BK. Ah, says Dollop. Up she goes. Well, it's been real, says BK. Oh, it's Bear Claw and the fucking giant frog. <laughs> and, a, and a single uh, enclosed beehive. I also noticed that in the background, sitting next to Possum, is the police chief who is still immobile. Is he just dead? Bear Claw says, yeah, real waste of time. Thanks for introducing me to this frog, though. It's a cool frog. I like that. Just Mira just laughing. Pretty cool. I guess it all worked out. Okay, you can launch me now. Yeah, okay. It's Chef and the Drinking Bird and uh, some pots. Hey, guys. Stop by Cat Soup sometime, will ya? Sure, says BK. 
Are you gonna get rid of those bugs? Asks Mira. Eh, I don't know, says Chef. I feel like they're kind of a secret ingredient now. Lol sweet, says BK. You should throw some apple cores and a fish bone in there. Make a garbage stew. Oh, good idea. Ew, no, says Mira. Ew! Go away! <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you, Possum. Oh, he's got the police jeep with him. And several things of ramen, and a mask, and a flashlight. No sweat, Mira. You shouldn't trust what anyone tells you. Especially BK. Don't worry, I'll never trust him again. What?! After all this?! Um, I'm kidding. See? You can't trust anyone on this flat, hollow Earth. Um, whatever, says BK. And up they go. And it's finally Coco! With, uh, that lawn chair and that goddamn boombox. You know it's gonna take a long time for me to forgive you guys. Like the third voice I've given Coco over the course of this. You messed up, like, every possible thing. I'm sorry, Coco. Mm-hmm. BK. I'm sorry too, Coco. You still want to go to the beach next weekend? Asks Mira. Ah, uh, yeah, let's do it, says Coco. And now it's Mira, BK, the broken quadcopter, a electric guitar, and for some reason a potted cactus. Oh, and I think I see uh, BK's tablet. Yeah, as I move, I can sort of. You can just barely adjust where the camera is by moving the uh, cursor left and right, so yeah, that's definitely the tablet there. Hey, Mira? Thanks for being so cool to me. And? For showing me how to be good? And? For your patience? And? Um, okay, that's enough praise! Hmm, I don't know. IDK, maybe someday you'll make it up to me. After you do my laundry, for a hundred years. Praise me now. Well, okay, after spending so much time with you, I decided. You stink only 75% as much as the trash can. You still need a bath, though. You love my stink. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> LOL. And she's, like, bowing courteously. Would you do me the honor of pressing the launch button? Gladly. Too slow! <laughs> yes. Yes, and she says that, too. It cut to black. Oh, credits! Achievement unlocked, redeemed, bring everyone back from underground. Oh, I'm in control of the, uh, quadcopter for the credits. Like, direct control. Uh, up. And I can rotate created by Ben Esposito. Story editor Geneva Hodgson. No, I got this. Oh, I see the quadcopters are putting the donut back in place. Yes, there. I gotta get in the hole. Yes, I knew that was a thing. Achievement unlocked. Pilot, fly through the donut hole. Oh! Chef is here making donuts, and there's a cockroach in the sink. Oh god. Hey, there's the honking man off in the distance. I like the horn button. Possum using three different laptops at once. Oh, I- oh, I can't hit start here. Fair enough. It keeps stopping and not letting me control it smoothly. Additional tools, Yuli Vigdorchik. Apologies for pronunciations. The honking man has uh, a gator sitting on the back of his uh, bike. 
who's holding a, a fishing rod, carrying a piece of bread, and the dog from the beginning is chasing after it. I guess I have to stop completely before they'll work. Raccoon Rooter, call. Additional art, Heather Pen. Uh, salt and pepper surrounded by birds. Music by Dan Kostner. Additional music by Ben Esposito. Localization assistant Chloe Lister. I can't imagine the uh, difficulty of translating this. All the casualness of the dialogue. Totally legal. Uh, Morsel appears to be selling a bunch of equipment from the lab. <laughs> oh, those are my propellers in the corners, duh. Hey, I remember you. You don't even go in the hole. The eagle lady who fell off of uh, the cliff in Morsel's level. She's eating a sandwich. No, she's eating corn on top of the hot air balloon, which is now anchored to the ground. Well, above the ground is an anchor on it, I'm trying to say. Icon design Lily Nishita? Oh, hey, there's BK. Trying to swoop myself. Aww. Helen's attaching that wall back to the house with giant band-aids. <laughs> Here is Coyote giving you directions to uh, placing the donut back on top of the roof. Oh, and there's a hole in the ground, but it's got boards nailed down on top of it. <laughs> Never again. All right. I don't know if I found all the credits or not, but uh, it is very difficult to navigate this uh, sequence. I'm gonna hit X and hit the power button. Done flying, power down the quadcopter, and watch the rest of the credits? Yes. Well. I rather liked that. That was a ridiculous game in every conceivable way, and I loved it. We're really looking at Coco, uh, Mira, and I don't think that's actually BK, because he's not wearing a bandana around his neck. Just levitating and surrounded by donuts. Inspired by an idea from Peter Mullydew. Oh, shit! Uh, Peter Molydew was a Twitter account. It was a guy pretending to be video game developer Peter Molyneux, who was famous for over-promising with his games. So the idea was that the account did nothing but post ridiculous ideas for video games. I remember one of them being a racing game where you control the road instead of a car. I guess this whole thing must have been inspired by one of his tweets. That's crazy. All rights reserved. For mom and dad. Aww. Congratulations! You unlocked new Trashopedia items. Open Trashopedia now. Fuck yes. Yes, yes. Here is where uh, the lab starts. Ra Raccoon HQ. Bandit's note. It says up, left, down, left, grab. Toilet paper. Some fine linens. 
bathroom coffee. A regular coffee, only with a fine layer of bathroom particles on top. Ew. Bathroom trash can. Someone put food trash in here. Someone wonderful. Key card. Feed this to a door to make it nice. It's the red one. Employee phone. An ancient wrong number machine. Front desk succulent. A cactus that someone cruelly plucked out the spikes from. Employee manual. This book has workplace tips, tricks, and cheat codes in it. Battery. C. A tasty, long-lasting treat that will melt your mouth, but not your hand. Oh no. Broken microscope. A tube to nowhere. Beaker. An empty popsicle. Which is funny, because it's a wide-bottomed beaker. Test tube. Some kind of musical instrument for nerds only. Beaker. A cup you can never put down. Not specifically from the biology lab, I see. Employee donut. This donut is really earning its keep. Science tablet. There's fingerprints all over the screen. You'd think scientists would wash their hands more. Science clipboard. Scientists may look like they're taking notes, but they're just drawing cool skulls. Microscope. Use this to spy on nude microbes. Animal cage. A hotel for animals, only they hate it. Lab cool snake. This spaghetti was arrested for being mean. <laughs> My lozenge wrapper says, don't try harder, do harder. Lab fly, a small and extremely hideous bird. Lab frog, frogs do a few questionable things, but they're otherwise perfect. Lab seagull, a dirty bird that was caught stealing french fries. Lab cockroach, this piece of dirt has legs. Lab bunny, big, a hardened criminal with no shame. Lab bunny, small. A hardened criminal with a little bit of shame. <laughs> Raccoon HQ again. Cement block. A piece of luxury furniture. Bomb. Small. Blows up a small amount of stuff. Bomb. Big. Blows up a large amount of stuff. Hacking device. The hacker's code requires that when you hack into a mainframe, you gotta say, I'm in. <laughs> Tornado. Sometimes when a cloud flushes a toilet, things get out of control. Raccoon HQ, broken. Well, I guess I don't have a job anymore. Boss head unit. Hopefully you learned something from the Trashopedia. Boss cement mixer. Actually, I don't really care, lol. I made most of this up. Boss propeller. Trash King paid me practically nothing to write these. Boss bazooka. Oh well, lol. Key to Donut County, achievement unlocked. Nerd, complete the Trashopedia! Holy shit! Key to Donut County, thanks for playing. Oh, great, levels! Oh, I see, I have to select these things rather than just going left and right. That was weird, my controller stopped responding for a second there. Okay, biology lab. Trashopedia. Bandit's note. It says up, left, down, left, grab. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oops. And it's the biology lab, new recruits. Nobody knows why the animals are just outside. Nude creatures. Right, okay. There's the hole. Give me that, and that, and these. Up, left, down, left, grab. Oh fuck, it opens the door in the security room. Well, I gotta get out of this room then. So I'll just complete the rest of the puzzle. Grab the cockroach. happening. Grab the seagull. Hey, my computer 
uh, controller did turn off just now. That's not a great time to find that. Well, at least I finished a series before I did, huh? Just use a damn mouse. Don't love that. Live demo, folks. Missing something? I thought I got all the flies already. I am confused. I have to admit it. There are no other flies in the room. That's just annoying. Damn! Okay, that time it worked. I don't know what the fucking changed. It's the vibrations making this thing turn off. That's weird. Don't panic! I don't know the hole is by the door. Okay. Then I'll just go ahead and grab a couple bunnies for the road and head over here. What is in here? Achievement unlocked! Bandit, break into the vault at Raccoon HQ. It's full of gold and jewels. And piles of money and a bone for some reason. And a golden quadcopter. Okay, I'll be right back. Get some more bunnies and get bigger. time with this game. I thought it was a bit limited at points, but uh, honestly, the real draw was the uh, the story, which was ridiculous and silly, and featured some surprisingly believable characters. Now I can get these big piles of money. Okay. That's in the trash Wikipedia now. Oh, I'm gonna just roll left and right with the D-pad. News to me. Uh. Ah oh, well, thanks for playing. Like, there's really not a lot to say here. If you like the sense of humor this game's got going for it, I absolutely recommend that you play it. Quit the title. It's still the same ending? Yeah. Right? Okay. 
Oh, there was another one. I suppose there was, uh... Well, I suppose there was cat soup where there was, uh... You know, that secret ingredient thing going on. Make the secret recipe. Yeah, like that. But, uh... I don't know. If you guys really, really want to see me do that and the, uh, like some other uh, optional stuff, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I think I'm kind of good. Like, I'm glad I got all the achievements that I did get. Oh, I see. The uh, BK has written BK Squad on the sand, and I've just realized this is them going to the beach next weekend. Ha! very strange game, and I do like that they completely cut out showing where the holes are coming from or how they're controlling them. All in all, I had a great time with this game. I thought it was ridiculous and fun, and I think you'd have a good time with it too. So hey, yeah, that's that. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and on behalf of myself, BK the Raccoon, Mira, Coco, and all those other weirdos we met down in the underground, I thank you for joining me for Let's Play Donut County. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves, I hope you've uh, enjoyed these characters, and I hope you'll join me for my next video series, whatever form that might take. Until then, take care of yourselves, Burning Dog fans. You know, make sure to uh, support your local businesses and uh, take care of your friends. And for the love of God, don't take a job from the Trash King. <laughs> ah. Till next time, have yourselves a great day. Later!